How are you doing today? I don't know. I guess I'm I'm having some anxiety about. Uh, I'm feeling really nervous about giving a presentation. What fears do you have? I don't know. I I guess because like the last time um, I had to give a presentation, I was like I said um a lot and I was really nervous and sweaty and. When I got up there in front of everybody, I couldn't remember any of the things that I was supposed to say. Even though, like, I knew them before I got up there. Like, once I got up there, I guess I was just so nervous that, like, I forgot what I was supposed to say, and, and I just felt I felt really foolish. Okay, so just because you felt foolish that one time, does that mean that doesn't mean you're always going to be foolish in every presentation you give? I mean, I guess not. I'm sure not. So, I want to. I want you to try this for me. Instead of going in there thinking about the one time you made mistakes and you were you looked foolish, and you think everybody thought you were foolish, I want you to go in there with a positive mindset that you are going to kill the presentation and see if. And I want you to think that. So when you you are thinking you're going to kill the presentation, you actually kill the presentation, rather than worry so much about what others are thinking. I mean, I guess I could try that, but I don't know how thinking different is going to make me a better presenter. Well, your positive mindset is going to have a lot to do with it. Just because you fail one time doesn't mean you're going to fail every time, right? I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Well, how many times have you failed a test? I don't know. A few times, I guess. Right. So, and when you failed those tests, you didn't fail every test in that class, did you? No, I guess not. So just because you have a, a mess up every now and then or here and there doesn't mean that's going to define you when you're going forward. I guess that's true. So everyone will have a slip up every now and then. I want you to think positive and think of all the presentations that you have done really well. I mean, I guess there was that one presentation that wasn't so bad a couple years ago. I did okay with that one. Well, if you liked it, you must have done better than okay. I don't know. I guess maybe I, I practiced more. So, so maybe. As well as the positive thinking, you have some steps for your presentation. Maybe prepare one or two times, maybe in front of a friend or family. Or you can also have a flashcard. Maybe that will help you out so that you're not thinking so much about the audience. I guess that would help for like when my mind went blank. If I had some flashcards, I could have had something to like help me and just like bring me back to where I was supposed to be. Yeah. I think so. Okay. I guess I could try that. Okay. Good.